Hello, you. I'm Danny. I'm here with Robin. Hello. And Wait, that's your vo that's your voice. I'm sorry. Would you like to do that in your voice instead? Hello. Uh, smooth as butter. <laughs> 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 ah, hello. <laughs> Today I'm joined by the James Bond. <laughs> it's me, James Bond. <laughs> So you may well remember last time we played Lamulana, we had Puzzle Heck down in the Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum even. Um, now, we stumbled across some puzzle solutions there that I will, I promise you, go back and revisit. Because last time we didn't really understand why they actually solved them. And I have since uh, been back, looked at the tapes and figured out what we did and did wrong. So, we'll have a fun little puzzle cleanup session. But first, speaking of cleanup session, you may remember that we came up here and finally got the anchor and the grail tablet for the ice fire treetops. Now, while I was up here, I realized this. Good shot. I realized there's something we could probably do up here. Do I just wanted to say. Oh. Ooh, no, no, please go ahead. I just noticed that the uh, there was a mirror sheen that actually reflected your character model uh, in the room previous with the, from the pill you can flip around. I thought that was a nice touch. That's anyway. how you can tell you can flip round them. They're mm. incredibly shiny. Also, everyone in everyone in chat has been super lovely. I don't want to breeze over that by talking about puzzles. So thank you so much, everyone. Like, thank you, everybody. It's, you're all incredibly sweet, and you know, thank um... you, for, thank you for sticking with us too. It's important we have a cozy, lovely time. And this kraken, unfortunately, is not invited. Get kraken. You absolutely can do, Lulu. However. This is a puzzle we saw quite a while ago that I think I'm now equipped to solve. Uh, since we're at the Grail tablet, I realised I popped up here in my doing my homework times and mm. realised we can now touch this seal. What does this do? This does this. Okay. Okay. What does this do? I was expecting something more, but... Well, see, the thing is, when there's like... When there's something that seems a bit sus, there's probably a breakable oh. wall, right? Oh! <laughs> you know what they say. When there's something that seems... Oh, this definitely seems sus. I don't like this room. <laughs> Here the moon rises. Speak to that effect. Hmm. 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 Do you reckon speaking could refer to, like, doing a mantra? I think that would be exactly what it's referring to. In that case, I think there's only one thing to try, right? Using the... The sun! Uh... Well, the moon rises, what's the effect of the moon rising? <coughs> the sun goes away. So if we, if we shout sun at it... You're gonna get electrocuted. That's fine! I'm, I'm used to being electrocuted! <laughs> what? <laughs> I can what? solve puzzles. <laughs> mate. Ah, oh, mate. Yeah, see, Ivy's got it. Sun backwards is moon. <laughs> All uh, right, so. Sure. Well, that's a puzzle. What? No, nothing. Is there anything well else? Because I know, like, there are some rooms in the Immortal Battlefield that we have not fully explored. Um, we could probably actually poke our heads in them now while we're here. Do you remember sure. that we fought, um, gosh, who was it? The little armoured boy. Was that Svidgar? Oh, they moved about very fast, didn't they? Yeah, and we did them in, and there was a room afterwards where... Ah. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get out. No, that said the mantra Manny, unfortunately. Manny is, of course, Bill Bailey's character from Black Books. Or I think one of the members of, like, Primal Scream or something. Oh, wait, I can stand on the floor now, can't I? Oh! Oh. <laughs> that would have been useful five seconds ago. That really would have been useful a very short time ago, wouldn't it? <laughs> Excuse me for all the horrible noises, everybody, but uh, Danny and I are both ill, so... I I have a horrible headache. 
Robin's just getting over a head cold. None of us are feeling particularly great today, but we're hoping the puzzles will revitalize us. Moral of the story is, avoid London if you can. I've never been to London. Well, that's not true. I've been to London quite a lot. You were at London recently. Was Thank I... you, Declan. Was I at London recently? I'm going to London no, next no, weekend. You were near London recently. I'm sorry, oh. I was thinking about myself again. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> oh no, we did this. We did this room, didn't we? Yeah, because there's that Earth Spire at the bottom. Oh yeah, this um... is where the chakram was, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Because there's the rolling, um, uh, rolling shuriken platforms at the top. But you yeah. used to go on there both at the same time, didn't you? So there's one thing I remember there being, but I can't remember how we get to it. There was like a secret room that had a big laser and a treasure chest behind the laser, but where was that room? Oh. Was that the one that you came up from? Because there was, there was the, the light shining on the one door that we couldn't do anything no, with. No, it was, it was like, we, I feel like we went right into a room. Okay, I'm going to be honest, the, the red eye still being open in that room is making me very suspicious. Yeah, me too. It's like we haven't done something, but what else could there be to do in this room? There's nothing to scan in here, is there? Not really. There's three fires, but I don't think we can do much with fires. Is there a fire mantra? I don't know where you'd, where you'd cast it, I suppose. We did get fire last time. Oh, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Ah! Hey! <laughs> it zapped us though. Does that mean we do have to chat a mantra in here, but that was the wrong one? I think so. I think that was it, <laughs> surely. Wow! What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Was not expecting that. Should have been expecting that. No, I'll, I'll be honest with you, that kind of scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what do you think we should try Jeff and about with this? Or do you think we should maybe wait until... I feel like there's a piece of the puzzle that we don't have here. And if you keep trying to just scrabble around and find it, we're going to get shot again. <laughs> Even if it's really funny. It is really funny. There's so many there's so many combinations we couldn't possibly like. Absolutely. I'm just gonna put put my little pillar away and we're gonna leave and be safe. I remember <laughs> that when we were doing the um following the footprints of the Dark Star Lord, one of the things that we had to do was the moon mantra. And now that we know the moon mantra isn't just a second meaning for sun, because you just unlocked the moon mantra. Hmm. Maybe I, I can't remember everything that we had. I think there was like there was stuff like roof in there. as well, like like yeah. roof and wall. Um, I don't know if roof was heaven in the end. Um, why is this on the room with me? Hmm. <coughs> Hi, Lucky. Hi, Lucky. We're puzzles. So I'm gonna take a quick guess at where this room might be in the Immortal Battlefield. If it's not, then we're gonna go back to the Dark Star Lord's Puzzle Playhouse. Yeah! Hang on. Is the Dark Star Lord patch up? No. That one's for me and Danny. This is the room! Oh god, yes. But how, how does anything... What did the, um... The thing say again? The infernal fiend binds into the neck of the colossal dragon. Hmm. So presumably that my instinct would be that that refers to two areas within the ruins. Maybe a boss fight? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, there you go. See. You just had to be good at jumping. I'm gonna save that one because we've been saving these. Yeah. So, I don't know if I can... Uh! <laughs> Ooh, so close. Uh! Uh! Poisonous lava. Uh! 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 Oh, I see. So presumably I have to... Wait. If I... Oh. 
Maybe I could have jumped through that wall, though. Oh, give, maybe. Give that one more go. There's got to be a way... Hmm. Maybe let's jump through that wall, because... How else are you supposed to get to the um, bit on the right to turn off the... See, that's the thing I'm not sure about. There's two ways, basically. It's either through that wall, or you jump into that room from another location. Deathlands having problems about the magma lava. <laughs> Hmm... Curious. Uh, one more go. I could have thrown something a little bit better. Really, if I was thinking, I would have checked for it being a breakable wall first, but... Yeah. Time makes fool of us all. See, now that we've got the double jump feather, I feel like so much more is open to us. Okay. The whole game just does kind of unlock at this point, doesn't it? Um, we've got to come in from above then, surely. Unless it's from... Well, it couldn't be from below, because how on earth would we get through that death laser that we know is a death laser? Also from below, it seems like it'd be tricky to come in from... Ice fire treetops. Ice fire treetops. That's the right one, isn't it? Mhm. Mm but then maybe there's can... a way. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe there's a way to come in from above. Let's. That could be worth examining. I mean, we're we're right here, aren't we? Yeah. This is back in that. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the mantras we got shot with in that room. <laughs> I feel like there would be a red eye if there was a mantra. Involved. I feel oh, like no, that's like, the as game. In, like the room above is the red eye room. We got. We tried a mantra and then got blasted in. Oh, I that's think. true. Oh, jeez, Puff. Did you can't no. throw a grenade in the sea? I'm pretty sure that's not how they work. Is I think you're they... correct. It's they're made of fire and stuff. I mean, I'm not an expert or nothing. I'm not an expert either. But, here's one thing I do know. Apparently grenades are quite fun to throw. Well, they seem to be having a good time. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so we are above it, but this does not seem to be working tremendously well. No. Can I, like, roll in Shuriken to find out? I mean, yes and no. Okay. Curious. Hmm. How do you... Do you reckon it's something... Yeah, maybe it's just something we can't do. I'm, I'm not going to bump yeah. my head against this. I'm going to go back to the surface and have a little bath because I wasted all my health. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Ivy. Maybe, like, the mantra will somehow open the floor. There could be a room where there's, um, three other flames in a similar pattern, but to us, you use a specific mantra. And maybe. then use that mantra, then come back there, then... I don't know, just, just thinking, really. Just spitballing. Yeah, turn out ideas. Hey, hey remember, like the there's no wrong solutions to puzzles other than the ones you get Divine Retribution for. <laughs> That you haven't failed at making the puzzle, you just figured out a bunch of ways that it isn't correct. Yeah, you just found that bunch of cool ways that the ruins will punish you for. And that's honestly a lot of the fun of the game, so it works out. Oh, hang on. While we're here, you know what we should get? No, nope. we've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of money now. Okay. So. <laughs> We should oh, get a fairy! Game. I got 300 gold. I got 300 juice. <laughs> I kind of like this fairy guild lieutenant. He's better than the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fortunate. <laughs> Is this going to be the key fairy? Yeah! Oh, Ooh. better! Be the, the treasure fairy's the good one! So... 
I don't know if they're going to... Again, cool design, by the way. The treasure fairy um, has the manipulation and probability. So, basically, wherever there's drops, uh, they make more drops come out. This is very, very useful in a particular manner, which I'm going to demonstrate, because if it works like La Molana 1, I know exactly where to go based on, like, amount of stuff to smash up. This sure. fairy loves it. See, you see there, the oh. cash is coming out of everything. Do you remember I a room see. in the ice fire treetops where there was bum loads of pots? I do remember bum loads of pots, actually. Here we are. Oh! Beautiful. Oh, this is incredible. I'm making your money back immediately. So, like, that's pretty good. Can I get up there now? I can. Oh! <laughs> I think Atom's just flexing on him. <laughs> Ooh! Oh. A game! Oh, oh my god. Lonely house moving. Oh. Oh. Keep you in the move. <laughs> I get it. Cow stuff. Hmm. Cow stuff. Mino the bomb guy. Oh. It's Mino the bomb guy. So we aren't actually able to buy those bombs yet. Those are another sub weapon. It seems largely like the sub weapons of Lamelana Two mirror the sub weapons of Lamelana One, which is fine. There were some cool sub weapons there, but not broke. We're not in, in need of fixing. Exactly. <gasps> I really like how the treasure fairy in this game has a lovely big magnifying glass and she seems to just be having a great time. No, like, I, I noticed the massive magnifying glass when she disappeared. I suppose it's massive for her, but in proportion for us. Um, I do... See, see, here's the thing. I played Lamulana 1. I don't exactly know how to get the other fairies, but going by Lamulana 1 rules, there's probably like a combination of apps you can equip to make the fairies come out. So, oh, is that how it works? Yes. Um, I believe in Lamulana 1, it, to get the treasure fairy, is Miracle Witch and something, but I don't recall what. Pots, pots, pots. It's not, you know, a huge amount of money, but it's enough money, right? We could go buy uh, that app down there if you wanted. Mm. I think I do want. Ah. Well, there she goes. It was lovely to have her here, though, wasn't it? Hey, hey, quit it. Quit it. Everyone stop being mean. Oof. There, problem solved. I would have thought, like, an app combination in this game would just be have those two equipped at the same time. I don't know what this is going to be. Keeps your energy up? Maybe get more XP or something like that. Not a lot of apps in this game. Hmm. A stamina-related app. That's going to be getting more XP, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Can't equip it yet. We need a bigger computer. Lilac just said, do you equip money pots exchanger to summon the treasure fairy and mate? Oh, if only. If the, if I can summon the capitalism fairy by exchanging currencies, I would do that in a heartbeat. Well, like, whenever someone asks you to pay, you just summon the fairy. You have the money, don't you? You have to pay. Right, puzzle time, everyone. Not this way. Although there is a pillar down there we didn't explore, so that's another task. Yeah, we'll do that before, considering we're here. Yeah. We never jumped around this shiny pillar. Ah. Uh, over that. Just double checking if you remember the mechanics. So, what on earth is this room? Oh, hang on. This looks like an arena. That's what, no, no. I mean, a little bit, but I think that's possibly intentional. It looks like Angra Minus Arena. Like, is this, isn't this the thing we zap with Mjolnir? It's probably the thing we zap with Mjolnir, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do it. Ow. And I think I know how to charge it up if there is an eye in here. Is there an eye in here? Oh, there is an eye. Right at the bottom. Oh, yes, there is. Right. 
Give me my hammer. Cool. Oh, this game's good. It, it's it's at the point where a lot of this is starting to make sense. Yeah. Which either good or ooh, we're inside. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. It said your health was draining. Oh yeah, that's the bad breath those thingies have. It's health drain uh. breath. That's because of the handy dandy alert app we have. Mmm. Oh, cool effect in the background. That is pretty good. Are you going to get the lay of the land before you use that sigil so you can see what changes? <laughs> I've just remembered something from Land We Learn 1 that would probably kill me. No, oh, we just get shot. Okay. Okay. In Lamula, in Lamula 1, doing that at the top of the pyramid made it fall on top of you and kill you. <laughs> I mean, hopefully I can still make it happen in two. The people need to see it. Is that a... Is that a mantra? Where? Down there in the bottom left corner. <laughs> so this isn't um, <laughs> this is not a mantra I think but this sounds important speak words of fealty to the ooh hang on do you reckon speaking awesome. words of fealty means chanting mantras you know that in the footprints there are mm. so many others. What if we had to chant the mantras that those corresponded to? Maybe, yeah. Offer crystal at the pedestal of prayer. That sounds like an ank. I don't know. Sound... I don't know. I don't know, basically. <laughs> yeah, that was fair. <laughs> I'm lost. How do I get rid of this? Why do you keep trying to get electrocute yourself? I, I mean, it is very funny. I'll give you that. I... That's the only way I know how to interact with the world. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, I guess. Well, this is how we get home. Uh. <laughs> I don't think we've really solved what was going on there, but that's fine. We have, we just have like more questions. The, things, really. the thing it mentioned there is the destiny tablet and the crystal. Neither of which we have, but both of which sounds like we'll probably need to solve that. Yeah. So that's fine. Right, back to the... Oop. Okay. Back to the puzzle solving we were doing. Oof. Oof. You're right. Nice dodge. Nearly found some spikes. I was impressed. I'm sorry, I'm quite used to that drop now. I'm getting spicier with it. We've got a double <laughs> jump. It's fine. So, oh, what are those? Uh, those are my crocs. Because <laughs> uh, we solved this room and fought the mini boss, I guess there's enemies here now. So, we may require a switch to puzzle cam for this. God, I don't know what the best way to explain this is. <sighs> if only I'd taken like a screenshot of the things or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, puzzle cam for a second. Come along, everyone. So. Hello, cats. Cat. Well, that's a cat. That, that's a bat, isn't it? This is Halloween, cat. Hee <laughs> hee. This, this, I ate a lot of the chocolate. Understandable. Look, I've got, I got, I got the nice ones. Do you want that one? Ooh, yes, please. Um. So. Toss it into my mouth. Okay. Okay. Robin, open up. Ah, uh, um, I think I missed. You put that's a wrapper on, which is a little rude. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I'm throwing it hundreds of miles. Well, <laughs> hundreds is maybe an overstatement. Anyway, so you'll see here in the notes we hastily took last time when I was up, I was a little confused. There are four different symbols on each of the Dark Star Lord's footsteps. Um, now I thought. It would be the little sun ones. Although no, now that I look at it in retrospect, it looks like those might be the Dark Star Lord's words of fealty. But well, who knows? <laughs> However, it turns out what we ended up chanting through dumb luck 
uh, and some extremely strained logic, and thinking that there was rotational symmetry in the Gate of the Dead, is the second ones, which were the Lamulani's uh, numbers, which was what I was thinking the order of to chant the stars were. So actually what we chanted was that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, which, if we now go back to the game, I will walk you through. So what we ended up chanting, <clears throat> excuse me, was second row, third column, heaven, does this sound familiar? Yeah. Third row, sixth column, sun. Okay. First row, fourth column. Uh, is that right? <laughs> That's not what oh, we chanted. Oh, hang on. <laughs> what did we chant instead? <laughs> no, hang on, was that what we chanted? I forget. Do you have that mantra? Yeah, I do. That is what we chanted. Okay. I just thought it went heaven, heaven. Did I? I think I wrote that down. Hang on. Let me just double check my notes a little harder with my brain. So what we ended up chanting was heaven. Mm-hmm. Earth. Okay. Heaven. Okay. Sun. Okay. Then. Because of the rotational symmetry nonsense, we ended up chanting this one, Earth. And that opened the floor underneath us. But we kind of bumbled into that. I remember that you were trying to chant uh, roof or ceiling and you used heaven, and you're trying to chant moon, so you used sun. Yeah. And then it's thinking just ended that was up, the alternate meaning. We just ended up getting it when we we're trying to get something else. Yeah. So. Put that on the list of things we've bumbled into again. However, we're very clever. I had a thought. Okay. You know how the Gate of the Dead has rotational symmetry, but not rotational. It's flippy symmetry. So we chanted this one. What if we chanted the same thing, but with this one? Ooh. We have fire. Okay. Sure. I need to remember what it was. <laughs> what did we chant? <laughs> heaven, sun... Was it heaven, sun, heaven... Ah. Heaven, sun, heaven, fire... No. I suppose Gate of the Dead is the last one, isn't it? Uh, Gate of the Dead was the fifth, yeah. So we chanted heaven... Heaven, earth... Heaven, earth, heaven, sun, fire... Heaven... Might just get zapped or something, or this might not work. Heaven. I think you need to do it on Mimir. Oh, um, that's probably valid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, Bastet's still listening. Heaven, sun. Was it heaven, sun? Heaven, sun, earth, heaven. No, fire. heaven, sun, heaven, earth. Ah! <laughs> try. Heaven, sun, heaven, earth, fire. Right, yeah. Heaven, sun. Heaven. Oh. Uh, okay. No. Try, try heaven, sun, earth, heaven. I don't think that was. The... Right. That's let's... what Lynx is saying. What? <laughs> Lynx posted in chat, and also the eyes will turn off when you did it that way, so. Okay, yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh. Hello. Oh, my controller Hello? turned off. Hang on. Oh, no! We good? We good? <laughs> Heaven. Sun. Earth. Heaven. And then fire. And then the fire at the end, yeah. So this might not do anything, because, like, it might be a red herring, but I kind of want to try. Ah! Ah! Oh, hang on, he turned off. And there's a door on the left open. Oh. Cool. mimi has gone huh. to bed now. He's... Well, that happened last time as well. I don't think it did, think did it? It did. Yeah, his eyes stopped glowing. If you came back... <laughs> Sick. Yeah. <laughs> we 
solved the puzzle. <laughs> we solved the puzzle. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, we saved quite recently. That's very funny. Dear me. <laughs> you know what, Limelana? I'll give you that one. That was funny. Um, okay. Fortunately, all, all we really ended up doing since I last saved was a bunch of explanations. Yeah. So how about we just go and do that all again? Hey, Yeah, we hey. know what the answer is this time. Hey, hey, hey. These guys are so slow and so in the way. Right. I wish there's a slightly quicker way to do this. Yeah. Heaven. Sun. Sun. Heaven, sun, earth, heaven, fire. Yes. Sun. Wait, nope, that one in the middle. Okay, now what we'll do is go back and save. <laughs> so we don't have to do that every time I get flattened. It was very funny though. It was very funny. Wait, that didn't even break when I stood in it. There we go. Uh, we're changing the last one to fire because... Um, so I, I thought I wanted to change the last one to fire because of how the Gate of the Dead worked. Yes. Um, fire would have been what the uh, Lamalali symbol in the Gate of the Dead would correspond to when upside down. That was just kind of a guess. <laughs> but it's provided us with something, so we're giving it a shot. Uh. <laughs> That's uh. awfully rude of them. Uh. Can you sneak forward and trigger it then get back? Or... I don't know. Uh. Uh. Can you roll something at it, maybe? Maybe. Doesn't seem to mind its tonsils being tickled. Well, I tried. What else could we do? I could just try dodging in and out? Yeah. That doesn't seem like a good thing to do. Uh, that seems a good thing to see, but nothing about this seems good right now. Uh, 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 yep. <laughs> Maybe this room is just here to prank you. But there's a treasure chest right there. I, I know, I guess. Maybe that's part of the prank. Mm, Ivy has a good idea. Maybe we just run in and read that tablet. Uh. I think I can survive one more spiking, but I don't really want to. Is there any way we can do something like make it snap, but not on me? What if I throw pepper in its mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it sneeze. Okay, so this is more like, this is more of a... So this is the answer to the room. And we're about to die now. Yes, but we know, we can see this at least. So, uh, write that one down. Okay, everybody, look away, because this is going to be upsetting. This is going to suck. <laughs> 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 no, it was funny, actually. Uh, cool. So, <laughs> next step, let's pop back up to bath time and get some health back. The next thing I want to investigate, do you remember when we talked to some of the NPCs in the, in the Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum, a bad ghost came out of the room and like, killed them, I think. Because now those rooms are empty. Yes. What I want to do is explore... I basically want to find that ghost. Now... Um, I think the way to do this is 
I'm gonna go to the rest of the rooms and see if the ghost kills them or if they tell me about the ghost. That seems valid. Thank you. I, I've said this before. I'm the most valid person. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so. There is, a, in fact, a mantra that makes Noriko's eyes light up. You just say the word dreamies and she starts looking over at you. You shouldn't You shouldn't say that as a joke because you'll get in trouble with her. Well, let me give her one. You know, it's only fair. Uh, this is just what Nun said last time. Go bad now, Nun. What's more with feeling? No, that's the spot. Ah! We'll go back up. Oh, wait, upstairs was just that really nice room full of stars, wasn't it? Oh, there's a bug. Oh, hang on. We can get we can get to that room underneath us now, can't we? Oh, okay, and there's no NPCs above us. Let's do that. Yeah. Because now we've got a double jump. We can see who lives in that house. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's a I mean, it, oh, they sell much cheaper ammo, don't it's they? It's a frog with a gun. It's a frog with a gun, and on their desk is a box that says gun. And a trench coat as well. This is... Wait... Kira from Kira, that could be Kira from Kira Blaster. That's Kira from Kira Blaster. Because the, the little dude on their desk too. Oh, what? This is good. I'm so proud of him. They've got a job on a detective agency. I don't know how they found themselves in the ruins. It's a little bit dangerous here. It looks like uh, they've got a jetpack as well. They do, I think, have a jetpack. Cool. Cool. Um, well done! Rose and Camellia is another Nigoro Flash game. It's about people having arguments and slapping each other, and you have to be the one to slap goodest. They did a version of Rose and Camellia that had Mulbrook in it. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I don't. I never really played them, but I know. I know it's about <laughs> slapping. Can we have this, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair response. That's a fair response. <laughs> Kira's so Stop. grumpy. Un that was uncalled for. Maybe this is why nobody ever goes to his shop. That and the double <laughs> jump thing. Oh, all the uh, shopkeepers are references to other games. Okay. Oh, really? I think my power level just isn't high enough to understand all of them. Unfortunately, I I'm with you. I don't. Still don't. Not sure about the Bumblebee Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure what game Bumblebee Man is. Wait, but that's a great question. What is Bargain Duck in, and where else can we see Bargain Duck? Because I want to explore the Bargain Duck canon. <laughs> the EU. Wait, Bargain Duck is European? Extended Universe. I know. <laughs> oh, Set's still having a go. I suppose if they're on Ra's side, Set's probably not going to get killed by the ghost. Who else do we have to see? Right and down. Oh, up. Oh. This is the most Castlevania shit. Oh, walking, up a stair, walking up some stairs, whipping a skeleton. Robin, please don't cast aspersions. <laughs> How unfair of you. See, this person got got by the ghost. Ooh. They got spooked. Mysterious. That's right, Nero. Mulbrook was like, they made a special version of Rose and Camellia around the time of the remake. I don't know if it was like a promo thing or if they just kind of wanted to. Both are valid. Both are valid, yeah. That's the Fairy Guild General, and I think this person already got got by the ghost too. Oh, did you say they got grabbed by the ghoulies? No, got by the ghost. That's a knockoff of grab by, by the... <coughs> I, I've really struggled with that one. Okay, so that's all the NPCs here. So I have one other idea. 
which is let's go talk to the NPCs in the Gate of the Dead. That seems fair. Because they also Bargain seem Buck. pretty worried about him. Bargain Luck is actually Scrooge McDuck, who isn't from an indie game. It might be one of the few who isn't, based on the DuckTales NES game. But, a, we could have probably guessed that one, huh? Yeah. I just, it sounds bullshit, but I didn't know enough about ducks to dispute it. Sound, sounds valid. I just want to say, <laughs> now we've got the, the Varja, our knife skills are ridiculous. Mate, look at all these knife tricks. <laughs> Pulling knife just tricks. Going, going crazy. So we have to remember where NPCs live in this big old gate. Hey, I have a map for this. Oh, yeah. But we're all upside down. Not for long. Now that the whole gate has been rotated. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, it's been like maybe a week since we've been here properly, and therefore I've forgotten the entire layout on how it all uh, uh, how it all corresponds to each other. Oh, nice dodge. I remembered that trick. I did not remember it enough to get out of it, but I bloody remembered it. <laughs> did you ever find any of the costume keys? Uh, I have not. F I found some of the costume chests. I've not found any of the costume keys yet. Okay. And I, I'm kind of sad because I want to play dress up. Yes. Oh, there's an NPC there. Let me flip the. Probably that. Oh, wrong way. Rotation done, got us again. Oh, I really appreciate that, but I think I'd quite like to find the keys on my own. If that is, I, I assume they're available, because I know. Oh, we're going oh! in the hole. Got it. Got it. <laughs> that sucked. I completely forgot that was there. Might change away from the knife. It's cool. It's cool though. Oh, it's very cool, but great. like, what about if we're doing some fencing stuff? The the, the rapier does feel very simply of the night. Is the thing. Well, there's no real like actual a la carte sword. I know, but I feel that I think it might just be the animations for the, for the <laughs> rapier make me feel that way. Oh, there's a door over there. Let's go to that one. Hang about. Do we figure out how to open that chest? That's a costume chest. It's pink. Ah. Uh. <coughs> I think that's what they said last time. I think we're specifically after raw stuff, aren't we? Yes. Or was it? Was it? Was it Amon Ra? Gosh, I don't remember. There was another person who was kind of a shitter. Isn't Amon Ra a musician? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just them. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, that's the thing I knew about the custom keys. I, I knew that they were given to Kickstarter backers. Unfortunately, I didn't back it at the time because I didn't have any money. <laughs> and these things tend to be time limited. Can't get that A. Eh? No, I'm thinking of Amon Tobin. Carry on. That's fine. It could still be a musician. <laughs> yes, true. Ooh. 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 I want that Spooky. map. I want that map. <laughs> How do we get that map? I've heard of a map. Would you like it? And tough luck. I would like a map, please. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, just because they've heard of it doesn't mean they have it, Robin. I know, it's true. Wait, play Pika. Hang on. That's easy. Speak to the person who has a baby on the surface. Easy. <laughs> Speak to them lots. Thank you for the good hint. <laughs> that's a nice hint. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that's the answer. I'm going to seem rude now. <laughs> I mean, how is he supposed to play peekaboo? Babies. There's babies and stuff in it. No sense of object permanence. Me neither. 
That's why it's I mean, only tricked like, by ghosts. Also, like, ha maintaining calls over Discord is very difficult. Can I get up to? Yeah, I can. Oh, nice. I fenced that good. guy so good. Good, good stabbing. Oh, all the outfits here are so good. Yeah. We've been saying that in every area, though. Yeah, but it really counts. <laughs> Ooh, I'll give you that. A fairy's being held captive in the underworld, apparently. So, oh, gosh, I can't remember which ones we went to. Did we go to the ones underneath us? Should have really been paying attention, huh? I tried to pay attention. It was hard. I do appreciate that these little guys are quite rich. Hmm. You know, we'll go this way. Wait, this is the upsidey downy way and I can't, can I? Wait, I lied, I can. <laughs> That hand. They just love to squish you in so many like different ways. There we are. Hey. Oh, hello. Oh, sneaky. What? <laughs> ghost! Ghost! Oh, ghost! Oh, ghost! Oh, ah. Ghost! I'm gonna re I'm gonna read the glossary for that because ghost. Wait, dark star. They're in the dark star laws mostly in glossary. So, so we've spoken to everyone here now, right? Should we go back and speak to people in the dark star laws mausoleum? Yeah. Well, have a bath first. Yeah. Go have a bath first. Everyone's excited about busting now. Oh, because I said ghost. Good. Okay. That's fair. Do you see Man About a Baby as well? So I don't know if it's just like I've got to speak to them lots and lots and lots and lots and lots or not. Oh, is that a thing that they've done before? No, but the implication I got is keep doing it till daddy comes home. Maybe like if you do, if you speak to them enough... Or maybe you have to... Is there a way to play peekaboo with them in the shop? No, she's just gonna get angry. She's angry now. Well, she, the baby likes it, though. I don't like it. Danny doesn't like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will figure that one out on my own time and get back to you with that. Because if it is just seeing them a lot, then it's gonna take forever. Yeah. Um... Dark Star Lord Mausoleum. So we'll do that off stream. Oh, okay, so, no, that is the thing. Uh, how many times is it, K9? Because if it's a lot, then maybe it's not worth doing it on stream. Hi again, Nan. Yeah, you said that. That was Caro. <gasps> this room. This room. <laughs> this doesn't look so bad. This doesn't suck so bad because you can double jump out there. Or well, you can just do that. I could just, I could just cheat. This outfit's so good, Robin. I know you're gonna have a go at me again, but look at it. What? I, I, what? How could I have a go at you when this outfit looks so? You know what? The wig is also incredible. She's got a, like a giant bird on her head. The wig, like the, I'm. This is a costume that I want to put on. No, that's natural. That's natural that's hair. Natural. That's just her hair. When you have to spend all your time in a room, you have time to make sure your hair looks good. Look, okay, my wig is snatched just looking at her, to be fair. Oh, I'm sorry, you meant it in that way. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking, like, saying that she was wearing one. I see. No. Uh, uh, wait, we just want to go to the tablet. <laughs> we want to be there. Oh, 
I'm not really sure what I'm expecting to change. I'm just going to kind of speak to them, you know? Sure. Like, we've got a naughty ghost on the loose. Anything could happen. You know the main thing about ghosts? They're naughty. I heard that. They're up to no good. Bit like skeletons. Not the skeletons to say there game... aren't... The skeletons here are so unruly is the thing. They throw bits of their bones all about. So it's I like, I don't need these ones. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, that many ribs. I've got spare. No Ha 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 ha! I found him. Um, um, A ten is the dude oh. everyone's been talking about. Who he? Ghost. Oh uh, god. Uh, 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 hang on. I know that. That means the so ankh is there. We saw that before. That's what happened in. Valhalla, isn't it? Mm. Mimir's eye hasn't come back, which is curious. It's time. We're, we're doing it. I'm going to bring my classic adventuring equipment, an ankh and a whip. I like it. Let's do this. That's a lot of arms in the background. Do you think that's going to factor in? Um... Oh, this is already very good. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, wow! Well, the arms are factoring in. Oh, it's just spawning boys. Okay. What? Not okay. Okay, so we just got to give the arms a little bit of a kick. That's okay. Wow. Um. So, uh, Robin, you need to look out for when the boss comes down from the sky and hits the ground. Yeah, that's something to be aware of. Uh, just uh, make sure that you, <laughs> tactics video, sure everyone. That... Just make sure you don't get squashed by the sun. When the boss uh, drops the sun on you and kills you and crushes you immediately. <laughs> You need don't to let it do that. that. Yeah, you yeah. need to avoid that. <laughs> Alright, this is our uh, walkthrough video for Lovely Lana 2. I was going to say. All Pratt Force Run. Don't get crushed by the sun. That's rule number one. <laughs> Fuck me. I that don't even know special. what the tell for that was. <laughs> oh, I love the weird, horrible, ponderous way the arms come down. I think it's. So you slap one away. Then probably you slap this one away. Now I reckon it's going to drop down. I think it did have to... Yeah, I've got you figured out. I You're not so special. It's a little bit special. It's very special. Um, lasers and stuff. I would say Katana has got more of the upswing at that point. Maybe... The Katana does seem to be doing us quite well in all these fights, doesn't it? Oh, oh, oh! Ooh. So okay, so I, that stops I, at the corner as well. If I don't get both arms, does he come down? I think the other arms are still uh, coming down, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. oh yeah, so, so if I don't hit it, it just keeps spawning beetles. Okay. I mean, not okay. Oh, this is fine. We've got it figured out so far. I can't imagine there'll be a second or third phase of this boss. No, not at all. I think you're probably right, Robin. We're basically done. <laughs> Uh, our 10 round does have a health bar, but it's unfortunately really, really long, so unhelpfully, so I'm going to go down for a bit. It's the same colour as the sun right now, yeah. Yes. La, la, la. Not really scared of this part anymore. However, the bit with the lasers sort of worrying me. I don't think its health is going down if I'm just chopping the arms. Yeah, there you go. Oh. It's, health, it's health move to tick. Okie dokie. You can jump up through its charging arm. Those creepy hands are so weird. Oh, oh. What's that? I don't think I wanted to let them spawn. <laughs> Not even a little bit. The arms remind me of Jack Kelly from Always Sunny. Uh, I think no, I'm going to go yeah. out of its way. Yeah. 
Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've ass. really got to be on top of those uh, spawns. Because... Yeah. Now that it's not just spawning beetles who are a little bit trivial, that's a worry. Let's get going! Also, I know this is obvious at this point, but the music for this boss fight is very cool. This one's pretty special, I like it. The, um, the squealy guitar, what sounds like a whammy bar, but probably isn't. It's, I th think that's just like a keytar. Like someone got a keytar for Christmas and they're just playing with yeah. the options. Yeah. No, other way, other just, way, Lamisa, other way. Which is of course the most pure. What are you doing? I'm having there troubles. I'm having troubles with an analog stick. <laughs> Sorry, mate. What are you doing, Louisa? Not Danny. No, what, you, uh, what are you doing? Me is fair too. <laughs> Gonna have a little the most stomp. pure form of the most pure form of artistic expression is finding out what all the buttons do in your new Casio. Oh no, absolutely. I cannot disagree even for a second. Okay. Only one laser sword at that time. Ooh. Yeah, I don't quite understand. The lasers seem to have curious. Seem to have curious. We'll stick with that. It's. It seems to be really tricky to figure out the actual patterns that are coming out. At. <coughs> Use me. Okay. Now we get the other right. hands. The worst hands. Get a fucking move on. Get a wriggle. Okay, okay. Manageable. It looks like you don't even need to get that high up. Just like right at the corner. Maybe I just need to duck. Well, not be in the middle and just mm. duck. Yeah. Like right at the um the bit where it joins. Oh, it's oh, lots of hands on. now. The third stage. Okay, maybe it's gonna put like both beetles and also the walk-in guys. The ones who yeah. are walking here. Just strutting. Just going downtown. Making their way downtown. No, no, no. I hate this analog stick with my life. Are you still using the 360 controller? Or yes. Xbox One controller? Because I don't we not have a Bluetooth connector for my PC. We all told you you can use the PS4 controller. Yeah, I don't have a Bluetooth connector. You don't need one. Just plug it in. If you've got mini USB, you can plug in your PS4 controller to your PC oh, and what's fine. Where's that bird come from? I've never seen that bird before. I think it's the middle arms, because the ones closest to the Oh no, I know dudes. where it came from. I don't know, like, what, what, have we seen oh. them before? They're cute. No. It's a nice animation, yeah. Hmm. I need to dodge that, huh? Yeah. He's gonna give us a big hand. <laughs> like I see. I. Yeah, Pretty good. That's good. It's good. It's good, good that, right? Yeah. <laughs> not, not overly scared of this boss. Honestly, this seems pretty doable. Yeah. He's gonna have a little sit down. Oof. Is that just? Is that hand just? Oh, okay. Just faking me out. <laughs> Looks like we're at... Oh, is it going to be all three bits now? Do you think? Or... <gasps> Ugh. Yeah, yeah it's, that's it's just every hand in the world. This is a lot. And these shooting lasers as well. F this S. Robin, don't be rude. I'm sorry for swearing. Sorry for implied swearing. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I don't think this is, like, impossible or nothing. I just think we need more health. I need to take yeah. fewer shots, really. No, fewer shots, I said. <laughs> just be on it when the hands spawn. And don't jump into them. Contact damage is basically the worst in this game. Like, you can it's survive rude. everything else, but, like, contact damage is going to take you out. There we go. Okay. Well, that's your, your second or third shot. That was... <clears throat> That wasn't so bad. Doable. Like, I, think I think you've definitely got this. If we don't get it this time, I'll wander back to surface and come back here with full health. 
Yeah. What's the best? <sighs> I'm trying to figure out. Maybe you should use Shuriken, because I don't think the arms are doing damage. Should we Shuriken the arms when it gets really hectic? Yes, because I, I was keeping an eye on the health bar and it wasn't going down at all, so. It's just when you give him the chops. Exactly. <coughs> and the glass of water. Oh, is it time for our sponsorship segment? This one I'm just doing for love, not for money. Ah, for the love of liquid. <laughs> this is like the bit in the podcast where everybody says, no, like, honestly, my squatty potty is changing my life, and I'm not just saying that because there is an advert right now. Yeah, I, I tell you what, before I knew what Blue Apron was, I was basically dead inside. <laughs> is there a version of Blue Apron in the UK? Ah. That just has to be, surely. It's called Red... So Red, white, and blue apron. Uh, as America does I, that too, huh? Yeah. That's what the American flag's like as well. St. George's apron. There you go. <laughs> all right. Sucks. Sucks. Get old Brexit. Sucks. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay. That didn't break. seem to scare the hand away. I think if you hit that the on hand, the hand itself, you, yeah. you hit the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's gonna happen in it. I... All right. <laughs> All right, um, yeah. Bra, that one's yeah. on, that one's on us. Oops, <laughs> Ivy, are you uh, gonna you can do a different line of "Don't let the sun go down on me" every time we get killed. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, that song's good. It's a great song. Makes me cry, but <laughs> it'd be embarrassing if we get to the end of it. Like if we get to the second chorus, <laughs> really, huh? Also, that means you need to decide a different song for every boss fight. Which is basically Robin's gimmick for this stream. Damn it. I'm, I'm so glad that Party of One came out. <laughs> yeah, we've got one more, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got some good chops. Yeah. So I feel like I could have got more chops there. It's knowing how to dodge the lasers seems like the tricky part of this fight. It's, it's, this fight, like, if you don't get squished like a big dum-dum, it's, like, a, a lot about attrition, huh? Yeah. Here comes the squash. <laughs> Just thinking about Elton John and George Michael. <laughs> yeah! Now let's nice. leave! Might need more shuriken, this is working very well. Ow. Well, you know what? You take it then. <laughs> DPS race. If we're trading, we're bloody trading. Oh. Clumsy. Oh no, bird. Oh god, everyone's out. Oh, I thought that would get them. I thought go over That's... the head, rather. Did these dudes just sort of strut? I think so. <laughs> nice! I hope they get squashed by the sun. They nope. do not, unfortunately. Well, actually, oh, actually, they miss them. Yeah. I think it's worth getting the four in if I can dodge the, one of the lasers. Oh, absolutely. Bum. Not to be too rude. It's okay, this is an 18 rated stream. Can I say bum? Of course you can. <laughs> um, sort out five of the six hands, but then get the. Can I call them ads? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the boss will summon some ads at some point. This is that ads phase. I started playing an MMO for the first time. Can anybody at home tell? <laughs> Um, I'm emptying this boss. <laughs> and sort of doing all the other roles, though. Okay, so I don't think he's vulnerable until he gets his hands up for the first time. I think it's just either that or just the position. We have got to survive one more cycle. There's more MMO. <laughs> it's when he falls on you, a tank buster. It's an AoE. Uh, yeah, that's true. It's more of a party buster, huh? I'll tell you what this is. Not a joke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love you all. Yay! This is the 
Yay. We've got about MMO stuff. <laughs> that was a cool fight. That, that's a really nice boss fight. That was really fun. Yeah. That was like a puzzle boss or something. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I so, guess. Sorry, Robin. That was just a fight. I guess. I don't know, because like... The, the execution was there, but it wasn't there as much as it oh, has been in previous fights. I mean, we obliterated them, but the adventure continues. We've got so much more adventure left. Obliterated is such a good word to use there. Give me that treasure. Hang on, this room's full of dissonance. Ooh. You know what we suck that up with. Well, wait, you've already got dissonance in the bed. <laughs> Hang on. Cool, I guess. Oh, cool. Ooh. We don't have to be scared of ghosts anymore. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I forgot I made that noise. <laughs> it's such a good noise. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so they were sat in the development office one day thinking, what noise should we have for when you use the behelot to absorb dissonance? I know, the big cow. <laughs> So, what do you think that did? Because you've already absorbed some dissonance with the behelets. Do you reckon there's just like... So we know the behelet has an effect on the Corridor of Blood. Do you reckon part of what we have to do is like, suck up all... I don't know what all is. If we suck up all the dissonance and then like... Does the Corridor of Blood take us somewhere special? Like, is that how Maybe. we get to... We've heard about hell before, like... Is that how we get to hell? Hell Actually, with one you know hell. Hell with one hell, of course. You know something? I remember. Oh, really? I remember the first time we went into the corridor of blood after using the behelet, and some blood there was came up. A big splash of blood. I'm really curious to see. Do you want to go see if, if there's more blood in there? Yes, please. I don't want to see if there's more blood in there. <laughs> He's gone now. Dead. Oh, hello. <laughs> cool. Okay. That was. I was just kind of going there to gloat and see if he had anything to say. <laughs> right, is this room... This room's still bad, huh? Uh, yep. Oh well. I had to see. I had to see if this was something we could do now. Oh well, we'd saved. We saved. I knew where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what do we do now? Um, I would say try and find your way to the Corridor of Blood again and see what happens. I'm really curious about this. Hey, stop breathing that on me. <laughs> I was trying to think how to get the Corridor of Blood, but it's here! Ah. There it is! Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Excellent wordplay, Lily. This is just the same. Is this more blood? This feels like the same amount of blood. That was more blood. That was a big splash as you entered. Oh yeah, but there was no blood in here, so it's like it was redoing the blood. Is this Valhalla again? Yeah, that's mm. where we left it, isn't it? Hmm. No, nope, not that way. So where did we go? So we still need to get to the, the underworld. Is that the only... Leave me alone, bats! I'm having a <laughs> monologue. Well, it's more of a duologue, Robin. I need your help. Like... I'm, I'm just the rubber duck. <laughs> no, you're... You st bats! Like... So, what other loose ends we have? Because we have... We know we need to get to the underworld, but that feels like a, a very... long-term thing, right? Yeah. So what other things? There is a door we haven't been through to another area in the Icefire treetops that we got to, we gained access to last stream by getting the anchor, if you remember that door? Remember yes. Underneath where we fought Ratatoska? Yes. Which we could go there? Um, we can try using the mantras on the thrones here to figure out which one is the right one. Oh, no, no, no. We've got the mantra we needed because we need to do fire and earth, didn't we? Yes. So let's go do that now where that sub boss was. Do you reckon that's thinking. the right one? I, I guess that'd be the right one because there's a big eye there, isn't there? Mm. So. Well, it's also the last one we found, so like, rule of adventuring. I, su I suppose so, yeah. 
Cheeky. Using them to my advantage. Oh, I love that guy so much. Very good. Where was the... It's down here, right? Just underneath here. I think so. Yeah. Uh, was, was oh this? god, the corn. I love corn so much. This was a, this was the sub boss we fought last time. I'm pretty sure. I think so. Yeah, it was fire and earth, wasn't it? For the mantra. If not earth and fire, but there's one way <coughs> to find out. Oh, nice. So do it one after the other. Do you think? I think both at the same time. Okay. Oh! Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what we expected, right? Yeah. And <laughs> Why wouldn't the floor disappear from underneath us? <laughs> uh, what? That sounds like using... Um... Oh, hang on. Look at the race thing at the corner. The underworld. So that will apply... That will be meaningful in the underworld. So there'll be a person or possibly like a clone that we can't beat unless we stock strength in our body. That sounds to me like using Mjolnir. Could well be. But I could, I could be mistaken. Should we write this down? I'd record it, yeah. I don't think it's recording it over here in Puzzle Cam World. Ooh! It's, I, know, I unpause the game by mistake. We will never need the notes for the Black Star Lord's footprints again, except the next time we go there, which we'll definitely do. Uh, Divine Fortress. My notes are so big. Aha! Ah, this is the notes we took last time. It's the true throne. Yeah. We'll write it on this page. It's a follow through. Absolutely. Because we fell through the ground. We're in the underworld now. Um, oh no, <laughs> a, a scary clone. I'm going to write down the exact phrasing so we, you know, if there is something that we don't quite Realize? Oh. Having to cram an extra line at the bottom of a page is always so sad. Yeah. Or like right at the, um, the far right side of the page as well. No, oh, you mean like I've done multiple times? Yes. Always plan ahead when you do bubble writing, folks. Planning ahead is my weakness, apparently. Bubble writing's mine. Right, so, let's see what our cool treasure is. Trash, trash, <laughs> trash, trash. Hey! Hey! Oh, come on! Hey. Grow up! That's not fair! <laughs> there's a lot Can't of just... I've noticed there's a lot of rooms in Laminata 2 that aren't on the map. Yeah. That's Secrets. not... That's not okay. Can you go through the walls here? Well, while we're here, you know. Yeah. Well, it's a mean trick. Or oh, we did this out of order and we we did a clever thing too soon. I don't think we can. Well, good job us, but also bad job us. Good job me. us. Yes. <laughs> Well, we certainly did something today, didn't we? <laughs> oh dear. So do you think we should go to that door in the ice fire treetops? I don't see why not. I mean, it might be bad. Uh, so is everywhere in this game. What if I just crouched here and fell asleep then? That'd be quite nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the ice fire treetop. Where was it? Which one's it closer to? <laughs> so 
So it's on the right hand side there, if you see. So it's two below the other Grail tablet. Yes. This <coughs> one. Uh, we should actually check in on Mulbrook soon because, I don't know, it's nice to see her. Don't have any more reason than that, to be honest. That's a good reason. We already got her shoes. We can't really ask too much more of her. It's big to give someone your shoes. Oh, this room? Nobody talks about sister, Sisterhood of the Travelling Shoes, do they? That's, <laughs> that's extremely rude. I <laughs> hate the ice fire treetops. <laughs> Yay! This is where we fought Ratatoska and we cheesed him with spears. You remember? You know, Brat and Tosca things. You know, you just... Oh. just you, you, cause we if we didn't have the anchor, we couldn't swim against that current. So let's see mm. where we can go. I don't think we've okay. been here before, have we? This seems new. This seems new, and I'm really into the music. Yeah. I, that instrument is a curious choice. Mm. Sounds weirdly discordant, almost. But I'm not a genius of music. I trust them more than I trust me. So here's here's where we did get. I'm um, switch to puzzle cam. Ooh, ooh. This is the last place. Is this the last place we went to? No, we had the Dark Stars Mausoleum, didn't we? Oh, of course, yes. Oh, he's evil. Oh yeah, we got there on Halloween. One. Yay. Two, three. Okay. Was this area 12? <laughs> I should have probably looked. Yes, this is area 12. So, this is Heaven's Labyrinth, which, I'll be honest, is a cool and very Lamulana name for a place. That's not the shape I meant to draw, but we're living with it now. What do we do for Heaven's Labyrinth? Um, write Heaven, but then, like, make it... Oh, chunky bubble writing, and then... Uh, make all the letters inside it look like a maze. Or... This is quite nice handwriting, so I'll give you that. Got... I have a plan. have a plan. I read a Shinto Kago comic a while ago that had a lot of mazes in it and it was very good. That's my story. Which comic I, was it? I can't remember the name of it, but it had something to do with mazes. This is nice. This is nice. Oh, I messed it up at the final steps. I should really know how to draw angel wings, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like that. I meant to draw those cute little chunky wings, but I did it a bit wrong. It's fine. It's good, it's good. It's fine. <laughs> I checked and the Shinto Kega comic was just called Labyrinth. Read it if you're interested, but don't do it in a library or at church. There, it's an angel lost in the labyrinth in heaven. Oh no. Meme lost. And like, clouds because it's, you know, more heaven stuff. There's been a lot of clouds in these pictures. We seem to be doing a lot of heaven stuff. Hmm. This is a, that's more of a tree, I'll be honest with you. That's just a tree. And then, of course, we need some heavenly light shining down. Some oh, godly rays. Sorry, Puzzle Cam. That's not pleasant <laughs> to see with your eyes, is it? 
it, the, the yellow really doesn't show up on anything, so I'm basically just going to scribble all over everything with it. This looks alright, honestly. Because it doesn't show up very much, you can do this and it kind of gives the same impression. Like, if you look at Puzzle Cam, we got some nice god rays going on. It's kind of, kind of god rays, huh? Yeah. Wait, I need more, one more dialogue. I'm saying play it cool, son. No, they're lost. Why'd oh. they be saying play it cool? They're lost, Robin. Good point. I need to draw a piece of ground. What does the ground in heaven look like? That's a stupid question. It's fluffy it's and a, like clouds. It's a cloud, of course. Yes. It's like candy floss. Also, angels don't walk. They sort of float along the ground. Yes. There. That's the Heaven's Labyrinth. Now, what's the mood for us entering the Heaven's Labyrinth? Well, I'll tell you what the mood is. The mood is party for one, Mikey. No! <laughs> I was going to say... Hey, no! You, you, Trepidation. You, you, wait, you wait your turn, mister. <laughs> what Fine. do you feel about winning? Honestly, I like optimism. Oh. Wait, no, hang on. The mood is... Me. <laughs> I've come to clap. Yes. Now, Robin. Clap them, please. What would you say this area's song is? Uh, what what well, mood are you I, feeling? If I was lost in a maze by myself, I w <laughs> there would really be nothing else for me to do than have a... Party for One by Carly Rae Jepsen. Hey, Robin, this really sucks. Have you read the song or looked at the lyrics at all? I'm sorry. <laughs> you... <laughs> well, if Robin was trapped in a maze on his own, I guess the only thing left to do is take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right, I'm trying to do my partridge... <laughs> I'm Partridge Link, sorry. Bear with me here. <laughs> no, it's a very solid link. It just paints a sordid picture of you. Yes. That's <laughs> fine. What are we going to have for dinner, and where are we having it? The Chinese way and level 42. <laughs> I mean, that is an obscenely poor link. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not. I know you didn't write it. Right. Speaking of writing, that's said the word write a hundred times in the last sentence. Should we get cracking? Hang Wait. on a second, we need to push the grimace emoji. Oh, Lynx. You're on main, Lynx. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was an Andrea Alphas. Ooh. Oh, it's a peacock tainted by the evil of Eglana. Um, Intoxicated by its own beauty. Uh, my opinion of them really changed in those last two sentences. <laughs> I'm, f I'm very fond of them now. The, I bet there's... Wait, wait, before you go through there, jump up. No, no go, go to the right, by the door. Jump up and left. Yeah, that's where I was going. Oh, okay. But I, I have just seen the fun thing up top that I want to touch with my body. Mm. Hang on. Can I throw an earth spear in there? I mean, technically. Maybe that's just a light. Could be. Oh, that's a pot. Those are nice pots. They look like fun balls to push around. <coughs> <coughs> oh, okay, so Typhon is probably who we're fighting this area then. Okay. Ah, double secrets. Oh, oh. Uh, oh! A singular chakram. Thank you, I suppose. Well, that was slightly less impressive than I was hoping for, but still, a chakram's a chakram. Can't say no to a chakram. No, oh, no, they are usually delivered with some force. That's true. Oh, they look sad. Oh, it's not just a harpy. They're unharpy. Oh, look, they got big sad oh, face. Boo. 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 
I don't like being in a heaven's labyrinth. Oh, found found it. <laughs> Question mark. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's uh, very good. That's bad to see. I hate seeing that. There's something Reckon fishy that, about this room. I reckon that wait opens that chest. Maybe. It could just be a map room. Could be, yeah. Ah, it's Hermes! Hello, handsome! That's who I drew on the thing! That's Hermes! Can you tell me more? That isn't your boy, is it? Huh? That, that's not a pit. Are they related to pit, do we think? Uh, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> we, we need to establish the wider canon of Lamulana. I don't... It's... The thing The thing about the various children of Lamulana is they... It's. I think it's probably fair to suppose... Ah! I think it's probably fair to suppose that they do correspond to, like, human myths. Hmm. Um, whether our angels are a human myth is a conversation that is above our pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get down there to open that um, doodad. But if you look, there's a one-way door there. Mm. Could we have made it down there? Oh, totally. Uh-oh, feathers. Oh, uh -oh. look at that. Feathers. Look at that. I like them. They're very that's little, good. That's almost like a bullet hell pattern. Just a, a slow one. I mean, Lamelana's got some bullet hell in it. That's true. I think it's entirely fair to say there's bullet hell genes. I don't, I don't know if there's anything doing here. No, I think I don't think so. I do quite like the idea of... Um... Oh, I'm, I'm an absolute idiot. Niram, you're absolutely right. Yeah. I was, um, was going to say, quite like the idea of a bullet hell, which is just a platformer, but you have to dodge complicated patterns. And then remember that's Metal Slug, and it wasn't very good at Metal Slug. Yeah. Oh, uh, are Acne, Scylla, Griffin, and Glossy Levelers? Well, those are names I recognise. Is that a crushy ceiling? Uh. No, it's just a ceiling. Always so pays to be on your guard. This is definitely a map room, then. Oh, no, they're absolutely is a huge difference between a shmup and a bullet hell. Yes. Shmups can have lots and lots of bullets too. A shmup, <laughs> I feel like... This is one hell of a room. Oh, there's a big red eye up there. You're gonna use a mantra, surely? No, I don't think that's a mantra. I think this means there is a puzzle in here. Okay. Um, a shmup, I think, is Raptor Call of the Shadows, but a bullet hell is the Dom Patch. I think that's a distinction. Ah! Ah! Uh. He was coming for me. Okay. So we can do something in this room to turn things? Presumably we need a, a thingy to stick in here, I would imagine. Hmm. Curious. Terribly so. Ah. I realize that saying curious is like 90% of my commentary, but... But there's a lot that is quite curious. This is a very curious game. Well, this room is sus. Why is that one bit in the middle a bit lighter than all the others next to it? I think that's possibly just how it is. Or maybe it's the most important room in the game. The Heaven's Labyrinth is really cool. Yeah. There's so much ah, there's so much stuff in here that's just very cool. The Harpies look so upset. Uh, uh. All the enemies here are bad vibes. Bad mm -hmm. vibes only. Ah, I, oh! uh, I didn't mean well. to attack that. <laughs> that was an accident that time. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Uh, wait, Maybe. I know where we're going. This, not, this isn't the right way, but we'll take it. This is the stupidest way I could have come. Why am I doing it this way? <laughs> uh, 
down and across? Yeah, down and across. Still never figured out this room. Something about this bird. You think? It's got to I mean, be. It's very scannable, so... We must have just missed something. Like, there must be a tablet that explains, like, how to do this. Or I could just guess. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What did or you maybe, do? I just knelt at it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you just meant to do it by dumb instinct. <gasps> oh! Oh! oh. You can pay to make you impervious to lava. Huh. I bet that's going to be incredibly important later. Puff yourself. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna save that because that's gonna be that is probably gonna be useful. There's a lot in this game I stumble into, huh? <laughs> yeah. I remember that being the same way with Lamulana 1, and I think that's probably just archaeology. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, this has been distracting me for about... I've been going for about an hour and a half. This has been distracting me for about 70 minutes. Do we know Butt Wife? Because that's one of the best monikers I've seen. <laughs> um, I don't... <laughs> I don't remember seeing them in a previous stream. I yeah. know, they've definitely been at scenes before. You just want to congratulate them on the name. Yes, essentially. They're definitely a friend of the show. Yes. Right, let's get going. Back to the back to the place. Uh, yeah, the, I, that's the thing. I assume that absolutely was a tablet somewhere, but I'd not. I've not thought to, like, go and do the big search yet. Ah! What a rude welcoming. Oh no, that means we haven't got that chat room. I want my one chat room. <laughs> as soon as we find either a grail tablet or a uh, an altar in here, we are getting out and healing and giving us a save point. Just so we can actually be in here. This is the machine where we can't really explore yet. I do want that chat room. I really do want that chat room. Ooh! This room looks fun. Ooh, there's a light over there. That seems familiar. Maybe we can jump in that and make shadow puppets. Hi, Rena. Hi, Rena. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, maybe I'll see. jump in it. I'll take damage. Well, if you stare directly into it, maybe. I'm very, very directly in. Oh my. I'm, I'm sure there's something you probably have to do here, but for now we're just maybe, sort of like posing. Yeah, maybe we need an item or something from later. It's Kingdom Hearts. Is that the door to darkness? Gee, fellas. I really like gee, fellas. You talk about the door to darkness an awful lot. It's I won't very hear, fun. I won't hear anybody talk mess about Kingdom Hearts. It's very funny, is the thing. I genuinely, it does sort of annoy me to hear people say, oh, Kingdom Hearts is so terribly overcomplicated. You think so? Let's talk about the plot of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> you know, like, you, you cannot make out that Kingdom Hearts is this uniquely convoluted experience where other more nonsense stuff does exist. It's just that it's got Mickey Mouse saying the door to darkness in it. Mm. We have Ivy, we've seen a torch shining before up in the Immortal Battlefield, but that torch was shining on someone's house to punish them, wasn't it? I can't remember why they had to be punished and why that was the method of punishment that was chosen, but it that was did like happen. It Prometheus, but instead of being pecked at by a vulture, it was just, you just couldn't get to Just sleep a bit bright outside, yeah. Yeah. Hello, handsome. He God, is, he's so handsome. He is really pretty. He's got like very cherub hair as well. Mm. Almost certainly intentionally. He's just, he's pretty, he's got a big sword. Uh, 
Let's read about him as well. Let's get a gossip magazine about Hermes. Oh. I mean, he's kind of a hero, but you could probably tell it by looking at him. Anyone with that many abs has to be a hero, right? Absolutely rippling. I think the term is ribbled. He is absolutely... Oh. He is totally yoked. I'll allow it. Oh. 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 That was horrible. I mean, on oh, the plus side, all those spikes are broken, yeah. It's like a Metroid. Cheers. I don't trust any of this anymore. <laughs> Although, this is a nightmare. I can hear stuff just sort of, like, rumbling in the next room. There's a, an eye in the corner, but it's already closed. That is weird. Maybe you can open... Like, maybe we could open it? Is that stupid? That's probably stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like someone's dad on holiday. <laughs> Fuck me. Ah. Wow. His dad is off work. He's been off work for two weeks and is probably ready to go back. He's gone. He's gone full native. <laughs> dad. <laughs> Okay, the, okay, the, okay, the, okay. The ancient text recorded Typhon can be reawakened under strong light. Take them to the shiny place. Mm. So we need to get the, the text from the big machine. Typhon is the big machine. So the text from there needs to be taken to the light room. Oh, I do not like all of these invincible skeletons. It's a, it's a nuisance, isn't it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, is this blocked off? Oh, okay. I absolutely do not trust this. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Batty, this game's trying to kill me. I mean, I prefer Bargain Duck, but, you know, <laughs> I'll take Mega Rock. Uh, bad localization, what's going, though. What's going on? Bad localization. Fucking hell. So, as far as I'm aware, the bracelet, I believe, lets you use sub weapons better, in the same way that the Varja lets you use primary weapons better. What are you doing? There's, what? A, there's a thing on the. Uh, wait, on the floor. Eh. Uh, Ah. But I want okay. to read about being in the belly of the crawling infernal fiend. Well, you do you. Oh, Harpy looks sad. Don't, don't you dare throw your bones in my face. Can I encourage this wall to move? There is full on definitely a treasure in this room. How can mm. we access the treasure? There is a room in the top right. There is. Sorry, Harpy. Oh. Again, quite pretty. Oh, a harp. Didn't we see a harp in a shop? The, the, yes, the, it was the very dude cool. at the bottom of the Immortal Battlefield, right? Yeah. So we need to. But, hang on, that harp was like a thousand gold, though. It was. I don't even know if you can carry that much. I see. Uh, surely they can't expect us to farm that much gold. I don't think so. I think there's another way you can get it. Oh. Ugh. But what could that other way be? Presumably an item. Presumably. Oh. That's a fair presumption. I try not to presume I'll... very much these days, unless it's about video games and items. It does make a... Uh... Prez out of you and me. What? <laughs> that doesn't work. Why do people always say that? Come here. Okay. So point the lights at two... 
light obstructing walls will accept the light. Hmm. Convoluted. Mm -hmm. We need to find a way to redirect the light, I guess? Ooh, first child. Was that... That was over in the, um... Dark Stars Mausoleum, wasn't it? I think so, yes. So we have to... Something about the Age of Copper would help us balance virtue and sin? Is that not what the tablet underneath the big chompy mouth was telling us about, too? That we mm. had to balance virtue and sin? There's also that big spinny Wheel of Fortune that we couldn't figure out, wasn't there? Over in the Divine Fortress, yes. I don't know how relevant that is right <sighs> now, but I remember they talk about something Yuga. Farah, Farah for Yuga? Ooh. That, so that was talking about ages, I believe, so it could well be that Copper is the right one somehow. Mm. But we tried Copper and it put spikes underneath us. Also, I don't think we can get through here. No, not right now at least. Can we get in here through the... Um, corridor of blood, maybe. That's not a bad idea. Oh, this is the spiky room. Not so spiky anymore. <laughs> Although, if, if this is front side, we can't get in here through that. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Got a look. Do we know who the fiend who lusts for the mother's power is yet? Like, we've talked about... Oh, yeah, don't touch Spike. we talked about a lot of people who want the... So... The, in the room with Typhon, it spoke about turning something three times. Like, if we turn it once, it's Priestess. Turn it three times, it's something else. Yeah. Oh, this room seems good. Is this a mini boss? Or is this a kill Danny? I'll get through it. Hmm. What do you reckon? Kill well, Danny you... or mini boss? Maybe a kill Danny. You just saved, so. Have a go. Oh, neither. <gasps> Interesting. That said Glacier Labellus' room when I looked at the thing, so that implies there should be a mini boss there. If you look at map again, Glacier Labellus' room. Yeah. Maybe. Like, oh, oh, what it, was that? What was that? I think that's just me double jumping. Oh, it was. It, totally it was. looks like that's held up by robotic arms, so is there maybe a Typhon thing we can do here? It could be. Hmm. Oh, well, okay, it's time for a bath. So this is front side as well, we just turned out, so it probably doesn't connect to the Corridor of Blood, knowing what we know about the Corridor of Blood, or knowing, you know, assuming what I'm assuming about the Corridor of Blood. Yeah. I don't think it's an unfair assumption. Hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to post a link to the Discord in the chat because I think we're coming up on time. I think we probably are. I think we've got a lot of stuff to do today. <sighs> oh, we've done a lot of stuff today, rather. And I think I'm coming up on my limit of brain. We've done really very well today. We beat a boss. We solved a puzzle. We chanted a mantra and got shot for it. It was very funny. It was quite funny. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to eat some sushi now. I have posted a link to our Discord. If you'd like to come along, we post updates about streams, if they're going to be happening, or it's going to be happening. And also for subscribers, there is somewhere where you can go there to suggest <gasps> things and get access to a new secret area. We did, we did meet some pretty new friends as well. That's true. And also Eros was there. All of them <laughs> was there. Eros with his weird little moustache. Dad's on holiday. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Thank you for joining me, Robin. As always, it was a pleasure. We did a good job today. <sighs> for now, we're going to go get some sleep, but we'll see you again very soon. Take care now. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.